Alright guys, well I am back with a, another Lion 6 DL4. This is actually my DL4, um, and it has always had this problem where sometimes um, you'll press one button, like the A switch, and all of a sudden the B switch will be engaged. So, and this can happen for any of the switches. Um, and so I was hoping to try to fix this, but I just wanted to show you guys the symptom first. So right now I have this thing in test mode and I've, I've explained before how to put one of these in test mode. You just, um, before you put your one fourth inch um, cable into the uh, left input, hold down the A switch and the D LED should light up and that'll signify that it's in test mode. And then you can press the D button to move through the different tests. So right now I'm gonna do the button test. This is um, test number six. So each of the LEDs will correspond to what test you're in. So I believe um, LED D is one, um, C is two, B is four, and then A is eight. So right now it's showing the um, uh, B and C LEDs are lit up. So, um, two plus four equals six. So that's how you would know which test you're, you're on. Um, and you can find a schematic online. I believe it's still online that will show you how to move through each of these tests and what they do. Um, and so this is the button test. So basically what you'll, what I'll do is, is you'll press both the B and C buttons to start the test. And then what should happen is, is you can test any one of these switches and it will the LED will light up to correspond to show that the switch is working so we're going to start the test now by holding down the B and C switches you can see that the all the lights went out and so they should only come on for which switch you press so right now I'm pressing the A switch so see oh but see that was pressing the A switch and all of a sudden light these um, LEDs B and C um, came on and I was only pressing the A switch so and now it's stuck like this um, so I think I just let's see okay no it's still in this test mode because now I'm pressing the D button the, uh, the D switch and uh, the D LED is lighting up so yeah, it's, so it's, it does this in normal mode too. Yep, see, now both of them just lit up. So yeah, it makes it very difficult to use this thing. Um, I don't really play live anymore, so it hasn't been a problem, but if I was using this thing live, um, this would have been a huge issue. So I'm gonna try and fix this. Um, what I'd like to do is replace this um, ADC converter. Um, right over here u6 so that's what controls the switches um i'd like to replace that and see if that helps to resolve the issue i'm also going to so you can see my dl4 i made a did a switch upgrade on him i'm going to convert this thing back to the original um yeah, it's just because I'm moving this and the power's going in and out. But anyway, I'm going to put tactile button switches back on. And I might even change the uh, the colors of the LEDs if I have time. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, we'll see if it works. All right. All right, so... Um... This is the finished result of the repair of my DL4. Um, so I did a few things. Um, one, I did try replacing that, um, uh, what is it, the TLV um, 0838 ADC U6. Uh, you know, I was thinking that that was going to be the, um, that was why I was getting that unexplained, um, you know, crosstalk or whatever you want to call it, where I'd press one switch and it would activate a 
entirely different switch. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and replaced that, and it d did not resolve the problem. Um, so, and, and, you know, I, I, I had a feeling that maybe it wouldn't, um, and that it was something else going on, but, you know, I figured I'd give it a try anyway. Um, but, you know, I had also planned, like I had said, to replace the switches. You know, I had done an upgrade on this, um, pedal, uh, upgrading the switches. It's, it's a common upgrade or mod that's done to these, and you can find on YouTube, you walk through videos on how to do it and I did it years ago um and um but yeah I replaced it back to these the tactile button switches because I was doing a a repair on uh another DL4 that I've done a video on and I just like the way they felt a lot better than my the the upgrade that I did so I wanted to put them back and I still have the original parts um and so when I did that, and I tested it, it resolved the problem. Um, so I, I have it again in, in test mode now um, for this button test. I'm just going to press B and C down. And you can see, so that's A, uh, B, C and D. Yeah. So, I mean, you saw earlier where I think I pressed the A button and it, it automatically, it triggered a whole few, a few of the buttons and it ended the test due to the combination of buttons that it ended up triggering. So, that is not happening anymore. And I'm not sure why that was a problem with the uh, upgraded switches that I used. I mean, I... I you know, again, I did it years ago, but I was pretty confident that I grabbed, um, you know, um, momentary not latching switches, just like these tactile switches. I, I was pretty sure I, I did the mod correctly, but maybe I didn't, you know. Um, I can't remember if it was also some, a symptom that occurred over time or, uh, you know, I, 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 I would have... I feel like if it had been um, a symptom right after doing the repair, I would have changed it back, maybe? I don't know. But, yeah. So, yeah, it's working great now. Uh, another thing that you might have noticed is I replaced the LEDs. So, um, I had a, I have a whole bunch of LEDs, the different types and initially I was thinking I'd do a few different colors and um but um yeah I I uh went with some white and blue ones and they are so much brighter and I really like the way they look. Um let me see if I can um uh get them all on. Uh let's see um but yeah let me turn the light off so you guys can see yeah i mean they are so much brighter than the originals and i, I really like them a lot um but yeah that concludes this repair. Um, I don't have any more DL4s to work on. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, if you guys have any questions, um, I learned a little bit about these. You feel free to put them in the comments. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm sure it won't be the last one I repair. These things have tons of issues. But, yeah, that's it for now. All right.